Hey, it's Stan in Big White Letters, and we're talking about Isle Runners. Hey, we're with Jennifer at HD Super Rent, and she's going to talk to us about Isle Runners. Go. Yes. Well, the first thing to do is to consider how long you want your Isle Runner to be. You want to make sure that the Isle Runner is going to be able to go all the way down the aisle, but then go behind the bride because you don't want the bride tripping over this big bulky thing that might be in front of her. So you want to make sure that you measure it out and then add a little extra because you can always have some wiggle room. Um, they typically come in 25 feet, so 25, 50, 75, 100. You can kind of guess from there which one you need. Now you're going to want to put the aisle runner on the beginning of the aisle. So you're going to want to take it all the way to the front and roll it back towards the bride as she's walking up. So as you get all of the papers and things out of it. The other thing to consider um, in addition to the length is also the type of material. Some of them will be cloth like this one. Others can be vinyl um, and others can be a very heavy actual cloth instead of a fake cloth. Just Okay, so the thing to consider, you have the string, but you also need a bit more slack. So if you start to pull the string through, you'll find a knot. So carefully go through the knot and undo it. And this knot is going to give you the slack so that you don't bunch anything up as you're walking the aisle runner down the aisle. So there you have it. It's nice and long. Okay, and now we're going to secure it to the floor. Now the thing to consider as you're securing it, you want to make sure that it's going to roll the right way. You don't want to secure it down and then have it undo it all the day of when it's not doing right. So once you know that that's the proper way that it needs to roll, you need to consider the fabric that the aisle runner is and then the fabric on which the surface of that you're going to go into um, to secure it. Sometimes you'll have tape and sometimes you'll have straight pins that you can use. Sometimes it'll be on carpet, sometimes it'll be on a hard surface. So you need to think about those things before you put it down so that you can make sure that you're going to have the proper equipment that you need to use it. For the carpet here and for the fabric that we have, we're going to use pins to be able to secure it down. So once you've secured it to the floor, you need to consider when you're going to put the aisle runner and have it down the aisle. Some people like to do it before, the day before when they're setting up. You want to make sure that you don't put it down too early so that all the people are going to walk on it before as they go to their seats. So the best time is to typically do it either right before the bridal party comes down or find a way to do it right before the bride herself comes down. Now, for the people that are going to be pulling the aisle runner down, it's sometimes best to have two people doing it so that they can both take each side. If you have just one doing it in the middle, they can sometimes bunch it up along here and then it gets all jammed up and it messes up the aisle and the flow of the wedding. So you want to make sure that if one person is doing it, they hold it out to the sides or you have one person on each side so that it can flow smoothly down the aisle. Remember to bring it past the bride so that she doesn't walk on the item and she can walk down the aisle properly. The best thing to remember is to ask the venue how they want the aisle to be done. Sometimes they don't want it to be secured to the floor, so you want to properly ask them how you can do and what you can use. And that is how you do an aisle runner. I'm Jennifer from H&D Super Rent. We've got aisle runners and everything else that you might need to make your wedding a great event. Hey, it's Stan again. Hey, we were just with Jennifer at HD Super Rent, learning all about aisle runners. Things to keep in mind is secure that thing down because when those guys are tugging at it, you want it to stay at the altar. You don't want, them, want it dragging up the aisle with you. That's kind of a wedding disaster waiting to happen. So remember to secure that down with straight pins, duct tape, super glue and remember to ask your vendor if they even allow for aisle runners or if they have any special rules for them also consider when we want to pin that aisle runner down to the front of the aisle we may want to wait until just before the ceremony after we're done pictures so that big aisle runner tube 
doesn't get in all the pictures. And if you haven't found me on Facebook yet, let's do it. It's facebook.com forward slash Muncie Photography. Or my website is muncephotography.com. I'd love to hear from you. Get your questions, comments, input, experiences. I'd love to hear from you. So we will see you next time.